Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you didn't know, now you know. If I look crazy, don't worry. These are wave formers. You put your hair inside of it when it's wet, and then when it dries, you take it off, and your hair is shaped like this. And so, this is how lazy people do their hair. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. So, today we're doing crack. Crack. Yes, today we're doing crack. No, today we're doing cracked concrete nails. Cracked concrete nail art. But first, I want to show you something. If you'll remember, last week when I did the video with the Orly box, I painted my nails. And this is what they look like now. I'm going to pop up a video of what they looked like when I finished uh, so that you can see the comparison. Boy, have they oxidized. I have noticed that nail polish does this, especially when I'm wearing whites because they'll turn like a pinky brown. But when you're wearing colors, it's much less more noticeable. Um, so I happened to see a photo as I was scrolling through my photos as you do, and I was like, boy, that's not the same. So I just thought I would tell you about it. And then we're gonna do a couple more fun things today as well. So, firstly, this is nail polish. Nail polish will go on top of nail polish. And since it dries paper thin, I have decided I'm not gonna take this off. I'm gonna paint on top of it because it's gonna be just fine. It doesn't get super, super thick unless you just go and go and go and go. And so I'm not really concerned with that happening here. And then there's more. I've got these little clips. I can't remember what they're called. And it took a whole lot of um, keyword guessing to figure it out on Amazon to even buy these, but I will try to remember to put a link in case you want some too. So I'll hack. So here's the thing. I guess these come in different sizes, but this is the size that I ended up getting, even though I was not sure it was going to be this size or I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger. Anyway, so if you have flat nails this way, you probably don't have this issue but like for example my nails not being flat the part of the nail that's down here is often difficult to reach when painting and so like when you're doing someone else's nails you can pull that back but how are you gonna do that on your own like you can try and especially if you get to getting over here it gets pretty difficult to try and hold that skin back while painting and I can't remember where I saw this it was one of the social medias but they had these and they just pinch it on there to hold that skin back. And I'm like, that is genius. And then because it gives you a little height, you can rest your finger on it. So I figure we will give that a go to hold my finger skins back while we paint today, just for experimentation and for funsies purposes. I gotta squeeze this one all the way open to get it on this fat finger. Yeah, isn't that wild? So we're learning all kinds of stuff. Before we get started pinching our fingers though, let's talk about the product. These are crackles. You may have seen my crackle video before. I had a nail zinc one, but I got some china glaze ones and I even got some in colors. It's not a lot, but I got them. So I've got a silver and I have this matte gray. If you remember, crackle breaks apart on top of other nail polish colors. And then I also picked out these five gray-ish shades from my Orly collection. So I'm gonna put the silver shimmery one on top of the matte one of these, and I'm gonna put the matte gray one on top of the shimmery ones of these, and we're just gonna kinda see, because I feel like concrete comes in a variety of shades sometimes, and when it cracks open, the debris underneath can come in a variety as well. So I wanted to make a few different ones so that we can kind of just see what they look like. But I think all in all, gray on gray makes a nice concrete look. So let's pinch our fingers. So we're just gonna go in and put one of these on each one. I'm only gonna do these four fingers. I will do the thumb separately if I even need to pinch the thumb because I can kind of get a hold of it a little bit. Now, I wouldn't say that this is the most comfortable thing that's ever happened to me. Um, and if it's uncomfortable for you, just don't do it. Don't make yourself uncomfortable for some nonsense. This looks stupid, but I'm gonna do it. And we're gonna work our way down the line just as I've got them lined up. So first, we're gonna go in with this one. 
Orly in the shade Fluidity. This one was from that winter collection last year, I think. Okay, so we've got our skin pulled back. I'm gonna go in and get this on here. We can get down around these edges a little bit easier. And we can use that to kind of help stabilize. I'm going to have to do two coats of this. This thing is sheer. But there's one. The next one we're going to do is called Life of the Party. Also Orly, of course. I can feel the one on my index finger slipping off. I'm going to have to fix it. But first, we gotta finish what we're doing here. I'm gonna give that one a second coat too, even though I don't think it actually needs it. The next one is called Sagebrush. I bought this one independently because I think it's a kind of a greeny gray, but I wanna use it. And I've taken the clips off these other fingers while I'm going through this because they're just sliding. And I can just put them back on when I need to. Man, this one's got some fantastic coverage and I really like this color. Next we have Unraveling Story. You may be familiar with this one. I got a little bit up in my cuticle, so I'm going to clean that up. Keep a cleanup brush on hand. Look what happened. I stuck my thumb to it, trying to wrap it around this bottle. I'm not pleased with that at all. So this one is called Aloe Goodbye. This is the free polish that came with the fall box. This one has a little harder time getting a hold of it, but it's got some of that meat, so it is pulled back. All right, so I'm gonna do the second coat off camera because you already know what it looks like to paint nail polish on. Okay, so we've got two coats of each. Let's have a look. Looking pretty good. These colors next to each other look so different. There's that one also, my little pinch marks. We need to put some top coat on here. I have China Glaze Fast Forward, you guys know it's my favorite. Okay, so these have had a little bit of time to dry. Now it is time to go in with our crackles and paint them on. Again, we're doing the matte on top of the shiny and the shiny on top of the matte so they really need to be switched and then we'll pinch our little fingers again just for fun this matte one that we're going to use actually is called cracked concrete which is perfect and where i got the idea now remember with crackle you have to move quickly um, and this one has one of these skinny round brushes that i'm not that big a fan of but I'm gonna point my nail down a little bit so that it can kind of run downhill if it's going to run. All right, so we got it on there. That's all the time we had. Let's see if we can watch it crackle. That's taking too long. I ain't got time to sit here and look at that. We'll come back. Okay, let's go in with our next one. I wish this brush was wide and flat. I prefer a wide flat brush. There we go, that's all the time we get on that one. This one I don't think we put on thick enough because it's not peeling apart real well. But you can kind of see this one going. Okay, and then the silver one we're gonna use is called Platinum Pieces. This one also has a skinny round brush and it also seems to be a bit of a more transparent consistency, at least to my initial view. Get that on there though. I don't think, I think that one gave me a little bit more time to work with because it wasn't breaking apart as I was putting it on. And then on to the next one. All right, we're making progress. They are moving. Thumbs are always the most awkward to hold. There we go, let's do this one. All right, yep, it's cracking up a bit. We're gonna give this a moment and come back when it's had time to separate and dry as much as it's going to. Okay, so I think we've gotten what we're gonna get. 
It's interesting. Like, so this one, the colors are not drastically different to look at, but the shimmer is, and so you can kind of see it coming through, but these bits didn't break up super wide. I feel like the other ones, they broke up a lot more. This one, the bottom color is like a dark gunmetal, so it I think looks more like dirt. And when it's not shiny, you can kind of see it, but that shimmer again kind of makes it hard to look at. Now these, you can't really tell the difference of the under color because this shiny silver one barely cracked apart and for whatever reason, it also looks spongy, like thick, like foamy, like you could squish it like styrofoam, but you can't. It just has this appearance. I am making little dents in it, poking at it, because it's not super dry. It doesn't appear to be cracking any further. I wish it had cracked more. I don't dislike it as a product. I think it's still interesting. I just wanted to be able to see the under a little bit better. And then these, you practically can't see a difference at all because they're so similar in color. I am going to go in with a smudge free top coat though before we do a regular top coat so that we don't cause the lines to just melt together because you know top coat will do that as it melts the polish to make it smooth. Alright, we've had a moment for that to dry a little and it's time for a quick dry top coat again. I think I'm going to go through my closing statements while I'm doing this so please let me know what you think of crackle nail polish do you have any crackle nail polish have you in the past had crackle nail polish and did you like it and use it i know that it was super popular back in the day like the early 2000s and then it kind of just vanished and we forgot it existed and then i ran into it again recently and i was like hmm let me play with that i think it's fun i think it's cool i think it makes some interesting nails and I do have quite a few colors. I've got like a whole series of these little metallic ones in a variety of colors. I think it's a, there's like a antique gold and then a yellow gold, a rose gold, like a, a bluey one and a purpley one. So there, there's a good little variety. I don't know when I'm going to use them or under what circumstance, what kind of context for those colors, but if I wasn't trying to make it look like anything and I just want it to look like crackle, then it's perfect. I have so much nail polish and so many nails I want to do. I don't know if I'm going to get to do that anytime soon, but you know, if I do, I'm sure you'll see it whether it's in a video here or a photo on social media please do make sure you are following my social media. I post things over there that don't always make it to YouTube. And if you watched my last video, you'll know what's in it. So just remember that. All right, that's dry. So now I'm actually gonna go in with this Orly Matte because this is cute. Don't get me wrong, I do like it, but I think it'll be easier to look at mattified. So I am going to go ahead and insert the photos here while I'm doing this paint job so you should be able to see them already mattified. What do you think? Please be honest. <laughs> Let me know. Do you like it better shiny or do you like it better matte? And if you think it looks terrible both ways, then I guess you can let me know that too. But thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your interactions. I do greatly appreciate it. Your interaction does help my channel grow and it does help the algorithm push out my content. Plus, I like talking to you guys. And then also make sure that you are subscribed, of course, so you're not missing upcoming videos. Sometimes there's fun stuff on here. We do nail polish, we do gel products, we even do a little bit of dip products and we're gonna be doing some more of that. In fact, I just wanted to hop in with this other hand and show you how it's going. I did tell you about this in the last video. These are dip and so they've been on here for a week. They are holding strong, doing well, no issues. 
So I just wanted to give you a little update on what's going on over here. I intend to wear these for a while and probably just paint on top of them. It's amazing how fast matte top coat turns matte. Hilarious. All right, well that is that. I will go ahead and get out of your hair so you can get on with your day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.